Paradise. Paradise. It's beige food. I'm gonna go now. Croissant pull. Well, that was... And then like do research, like have it all, you know, but then I started thinking like, well, yeah, it's true. Like I do research an author a lot of times when I like what I'm reading. So Howdy y'all, going into the city to get a haircut. I mean, oh, it doesn't look like I need one. Hair is actually performing very well today. But uh, I think uh, some coloring needs to be done. And yeah, fit breakdown, Sandy Liang. <laughs> You've seen this trench, <laughs> probably sick and tired of it. This navy shirt, uh, no hong car holder, sweater, shirt. Yes, there is a shirt over my sweater. It's really boring today, gray jeans. I'm doing a full très foncé navy look and it's it's just happening today. Book of the day. I'm taking a break from Enigma Variations by Andre Osman. It's better read if it's done in like a short story kind of way, where between chapters you should probably pick up something uh, more because it has a very strong short story form to it. So splitting it up with nonfic, we're doing Damon Dominique's You Are a Global Citizen. Y'all, we love Damon. He's fab. I, I, I love his videos so much. But yes, doing this fun little book. And we're also doing, don't ask me why I have two hardbacks with me today, Haruki Murakami's Novelist as a Vocation. Um, so this should be fun. Today we're doing a haircut and then probably going to this cafe to try this croissant that's been trending. And yeah, we'll see where the day goes from there. But yeah, let's go. place to eat it and yeah uh, I'm also overdue for a cup of coffee so I might do that and then my trains in about like an hour or so so what to do what to do 
I'm gonna go now and uh, figure out my tummy situation, what I need to put in it. Okay, let's go. the next day. How's it going? Today is okay. Yo, my, my head is jumbled. Do I look exhausted? Because I am. I just came from, I just came out of a nap too, so this doesn't. Anyway, yeah, yesterday was good. I just had like the day to myself and it was just good. Just like going around, bopping around the city and it was, it was fun. I did not eat last night and I, I don't know, I was just so exhausted. But I, I felt like it was wrong not to show you. We went to Nudik and this croissant has been trending, but it's like a croissant onigiri. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it out. There it is. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> no. It's beige food. I wanna show you the inside, but this one is the salmon row one. I got two. I forgot what the other one is, but I know for sure this one is the salmon row. And I think I burnt it in my air fryer. So I don't want to make a mess of myself though. Croissant pull. Well, that was <sighs> mm, still good. Buttery, soft on the inside. And yeah, I, I burnt the outside, so it's not very flaky. Good though. Yeah, we're doing a little mukbang here. That is very good. It's a bit sweet too. Okay, let's get to the salmon row parts. There's like a spicy mayo oozing out. I mean, that's quite nice, actually. Okay, not bad. That's good. Okay, now I'm gonna hold up some books. I'm gonna go wash my hands and all. I think this is the first time you've seen my bed unmade. I'm usually pretty good at making my bed, but there it is. We finished some books. I finished these two yesterday. Surprised I finished this so quickly, but I always forget how easy it is to read Murakami, especially like his novels. There's just a readability to him that I enjoy and I think it's just so easy to get lost in his words. But this is novelist as a vocation and it is less about being a novelist actually. I think if you want the text from Murakami about being a novelist, it's um, what I talk about when I talk about writing is perfect because it really is about discipline and creating your discipline and doing the actual work and creating routine and all that and it's fabulous. This I feel like is just his diary entries and musings in and out of just being a writer, dealing with critics, denuclearization, and the reformation of public schools in Japan. <laughs> and that's basically it. There is a very little value in here unless you want like cool insights into his life like the man was incredibly in debt and then he came across a giant wad of money to pay off his debt he calls his first two novels kitchen table books he does say that you should read everything so everyone please read everything and read it now read it now while you're young or at the age that you are because later it'll be harder to read books so read now and that's it essentially he's just very like average joe guy about it he like tries to be super humbling but it is like so grating the way that he like yeah i wrote this book and i just you know never have writer's block and this idea just comes and i just like delve into it there's 
this like nonchalance about it that's really annoying and just like put a bad taste in my mouth and you know I love the man I'll read everything that he writes honestly but this is just really annoying he's allowed to write this and be annoying because you know he's he's at the pedestal that he's at and man can literally do anything at this point so yeah if you want sort of the minor details about his life and you're a super fan then this is for you then we love damon dominique if anyone doesn't know, he's like a travel YouTuber. His content's just great. The way that he talks about stuff and he's hilarious. And I just, I've been following him since like his LA days. And it's just so crazy to see his life like blossom into what it is now. Anyway, he wrote this book called You Are a Global Citizen. And yeah, it is a guided journal for the culturally curious. It is filled with many prompts and questions, which I... I'll get to this later. I didn't answer them like within the book because I did have like my journal and I did answer a few of the questions because I did find them uh, quite interesting. But for the most part, I was quite disappointed with this. Sorry, Damon, if you ever come across this video. I'll be honest, I don't think I was the target audience for this. This just feels like it was written for for anyone who has like never left their hometown, has never traveled abroad, for someone who has lived in different parts of the world and like currently living in Korea, like it just, this wasn't written for me and there was very little that I got out of this. But if you are still stuck in your hometown and just need ways of looking outside of yourself, I think this is for you. But just like the questions and the topics surrounding everything and about being more globalized and seeing the world through a global lens, uh, you'll get a lot out of this. But for me, I, I really got nothing out of this. I did quote a few of the prompts that I want to relay because I think they're great. Draw a zigzag to represent mountains. Place the friends who make you feel the best along the peaks and the others along the valleys. Otherwise, the 10 year old version of yourself asks if you've been to all of your childhood dream destinations. Where were these dream destinations and if you've been? Were they as magical as you had once hoped? Where are you currently dreaming about? How do you feel now that you have seen the places you have always wanted to see in the world? Does the world feel smaller or bigger? Also, a majority of the questions that he asks in prompt form, it's just questions I've always asked myself and questions that have always plagued my mind about like travel and who I am and who I am versus like in one place and also who I am in the company of different other people. And it's just, yeah, was just kind of disappointed by this, but it is a quick read. And I was hoping Damon would be more wine chatty with the written portions of the book. They, they feel a bit watered down. And I just think Damon is a better speaker than he is a writer because it's all part of the performance. I think he just performs better in the spoken form because that's, that's who he is. And that's where a majority of the entertainment comes from better speaker than a writer. Again, if you haven't left your hometown thinking of it, oh, if you're thinking of staying abroad, just do it. I mean, this would be a nice pickup to sort of push you, but like, just do it because uh, you'll regret it later and it will be quite sad. I, I think everyone should study abroad. You are a global citizen, Damon Dummy. I still love you, Damon, if you end up watching this video. I still love you. And today I finished Enigma Variations by Andre Osman. Basically the entire review is this walked so Call Me By Your Name could run. Lust, desire, both drive the novel and it's less of a novel and more of like short stories of all the loves of one man's life. Man's by, which is great. So you get uh, man on man action and man on woman action. It's great, good stuff, uh, really sexy. And yeah, just like metals and lingers too much within the imagination and how does imagination carry us? And does it actually lead to action when it comes to romantic love? And do we end up at love, I think is the ultimate question. Uh, you read Awesome and for his prose, he's great. There are just like beautiful lines in here. Can I read you some? Should I read you some? Ooh, here's, here's one um, that I'm still thinking about. Regret is how we hope to back into our real lives once we find that will, the blind drive and courage to trade in the life we're given for the life that bears our name and ours only. Regret is how we look forward to things we've long lost yet never really had. Regret is hope without conviction. You know, he's, he's great. If you are lingering in love, this will hit you in some kind of way. 
And yeah, it really is about the wine of life. Have you drunken from the wine of life? I think I prefer Call Me By Your Name a lot more. I just think the framing and the direction of what he has here is better perfected in Call Me By Your Name. So if you enjoy Osman's prose, you can definitely run through this quite easy, quite fast to get through. And those are the reading updates, y'all. I'm also, I, on the Kindle, I also have Tommy Orange's Wandering Star. It's plural, Wandering Stars. Who are you out by? Hello. Oh, it's out by Kanaf. And it's good. It's really, really good. Just the prose, the way it tracks this family history, Native American narrative, and it's just so, so rich. And I'll just save all my thoughts for later because... I'm just having a really good time with it. I, yeah, it's just so engrossing and there's just beautiful lines and yeah, just like raw honesty and it treks like through all, though America is young and I think people forget that, like America is such a young country. It's a baby in comparison to the rest of the world and tracking the Native American experience in this generational kind of way, it's, it's really uh, fascinating the way that he's tackled history and family history with this one. Um, and I'll leave my thoughts there for now. Y'all, guess what? The next time you see me, I think I'm gonna be in LA. Yes, I'm going to LA. Ain't that cool? Ain't that cool? Yeah, just sort of uh, taking two weeks to see fam, friends, mostly friends. I usually go to LA for winter because I can't stand uh, Korean winters. It's too cold. And yeah, just check the weather and it's gonna be 70 degrees and I'm just like, Ah, paradise, paradise. I'm gonna be in San Francisco as well and the weather's divine, divine. I'm just so, so glad. It's gonna be nice. So yeah, sorry if the book chat hasn't been up to par today. I just, I feel groggy. I came out of a nap and I was just so busy packing last minute stuff. Oh, I got some stuff. It was sort of like last minute gifting. So let's see here. This is from my friend, Jessica. I love Jessica. She works at Disneyland and I'm seeing her there. So got her this like mystery box for my brother. He likes Demon Slayer a lot. So I got him this mystery box and I got this, one of those Hirono dolls. I got this from my friend Richard cause he wanted a Sunny Angel, but I was like, nah, nah. I got him this one cause they kind of look like me. Come on, let's be real. They're cute. Yeah, I thought it would be nice to give him this so when he opens it and displays it in his room, I'm always watching over him. I promise there will be some sort of unboxing. I'll make sure to film it so you guys will see what these are because I'm quite excited to know what they are too. And yeah, that's, that's the business, y'all. I'll be in LA. I've got some sort of fun reading choices. Yeah, I'm capping it off. If y'all want to know, it's the 20th and there's just a bunch of other stuff that I have to do. So I'm sort of uh, capping my reading here. And so far we've read 11 books, which is great. I think that's perfect. Enough for a wrap up. I think Wandering Stars will mark number 12 and I'll stop there for my reading because I just have like a bunch of stuff that I have to do before I leave. And I think I'll just be too busy to read, but it is the 20th of January, if anyone was curious. If anyone wanted to know what the airplane reads are, or the books that I'm bringing to LA, I'm, I'm a mere mortal, y'all. And I'm gonna be that person that brings the cusk, the last cusk in the trilogy, the outline trilogy. I'm, I'm gonna finish on the plane. Kudos, Rachel Cusk. We'll see how this goes. Mere mortal here. I'm so basic. Is this chuggy? Is this chuggy of me? I don't know. Um, I'm also doing Love in the Big City by Sang Yong Park. Uh, sorry. Park Sang Yong. Translated by Anton Hor. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, Anton. Anton Her. <clears throat> I've been meaning to do this, and this is sort of the last leg of my research for something. And uh, yeah, I'll let y'all know how this goes. I'm really excited to read this. And yeah, I just love this cover so much. And y'all, I'm doing it, makes the most sense. I'm doing the shards. Going to LA, gonna do the shards. Cause it's set there, right? So we're, we're gonna do this. So this should be fun. 
I'm that person on the plane that like always has the overhead light on because I'm reading. <laughs> it's 10 hours, y'all. It's a 10 hour direct flight, which is great. I will say, I, I, well, there, there everything goes. I have two movies on my iPad mini. <laughs> I've got two Elvis movies on here, so I'll do those. And then I've got these books. I'll most likely finish maybe one or both of these and maybe get like a head start on this. But yeah, that's, that's what's happening on the plane. We've got a couple of lives happening. So I'm kind of doing that. I've got like some writing stuff that I have to do. And yeah, just like pumping out content. Y'all, this could be a content heavy week in terms of making stuff. Like tomorrow, Monday. Monday, we've got a chat with Matt Sharapa. Wednesday, we have a chat with Disco King. I have to film my January wrap up before I leave because I'll literally have no time to make it when I'm home. And yeah, that's, that's where we're at. So I'll leave you here before this video gets too long. So love y'all. Thanks for being here. And as always, be well, do good work, keep in touch.